one. Oh. Hey, Eddie? Yes. Bernie Packard, how are you? Are you in Colorado? No, I'm down here in, uh, still in Nevada. Oh. <laughs> how are you doing, Eddie? Doing good. Eddie, I'm at the office with a, with a squawk box on because we have some of our family members here. Okay. And, um... I talk on the box every day. You do? And that, because they wanted to, uh, hear. Um, Eddie, the boys, uh, the older boys, Steve, Stan, Dave, Dan, and Marsh, are on their way th through school. Okay. And, um... Uh, when they get through, there's a chance that uh, they may not settle down here in Vider. I understand that. And uh, they are—they have put down a list of uh, places where they uh, would con seriously consider being, and uh, Denver and some other places you've been in are on the list. Okay, what are they going to be? Uh, some of them are going to be attorneys, and uh, one of them is going to be a physician. Okay. What would you like me yeah. to help you with? Well... Let, if you'd hold just a second, I'll see if I can get to two of my other sons up to BYU on the other line. Okay. Okay, would you hold just a second? Okay, this top. One, eight, three, seven, five, thirty-one, zero, two. Two. Hit the conference button. Join Eddie back on. Okay, we'll see if they're even home. I have not put them... I've got uh, my oldest one, Steve, second one, Stan. Uh-huh, uh -huh, and Stan, too. Their wives are also, uh, let's see, Steve's wife is here, and my wife's here. Hi. Uh, this for either David or Dan. This is uh, Daddy Packard. <coughs> Hello? Um, and, hey, Stan and Steve, you guys ought to come around here, Stan. Really? Hello? Hey, Dan, is it Dave or Dan? Hi, Dan. Is David nearby or not? Well, we're we're talking to uh, some of our friends. Remember what I explained to you in the past that we was going to make a couple of few phone calls? Now, we bought our farm from um, uh, Sammy and uh, Sister Porti, and their oldest son is Eddie Porti, and he's on the phone with us right now. And Eddie's in Denver. So, Dan, we've got in the office here with the... Uh, wait, this is not on Squawk Box, is it? No. Let me put it on Squawk Box. Put it on the Squawk Box. It's okay. Here. Can you hear, Daniel? Yeah, but let me get on the other phone so I can hear you better. Is Eddie on there, too? Hey, hold on a yeah. second. Yeah. Yeah. Eddie on, too? Yeah, Eddie's on, too. <clears throat> uh... All right, I can hear you real good now. Oh, good. Well, here's what it's about. Uh, Dan, uh, Steve, Stan, Steve's wife, and your mama are here with me. Oh. Okay. And uh, we just, uh, we hadn't even got started with Eddie. I asked you if he'd hold so I could get you on the line, and you'll have to make some notes and share it with David. Okay. Um, He's got girl problems right now. A girl come over to get mad at him for breaking up with her. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name? Heidi. Uh, Heidi? Oh. Yeah, Heidi, yeah. She just came over and... I could tell she wasn't very happy, and so oh, uh, David and her took off somewhere, and I guess they're talking now. <coughs> okay. <laughs> uh, mm. Well, listen. Um, yeah. Hey, Dan, because we're going to make a few phone calls, okay. we've decided to get right to it as far as uh, what places. Now, Eddie, we've called you because it turns out that you've lived in about three of the places, places that, that you were considering. Yeah, namely down here which is not highest on their list. Uh, Denver was, was con is considered. And uh, the Northwest, both Washington and Oregon, uh, they've, they're thinking of Salt Lake and they've thought of Las Vegas, uh, Phoenix, uh, Northern California, up above San Francisco. All those places I've probably been to. Well, would you tell us uh, about Denver and then tell us about Portland to the extent you know Portland? Is, uh, Seattle, as far as attorney business, or no, no, leave that part out. Or, why don't you have them ask some questions, and I can. That might be easier than me rambling. What is one of their concerns? Oh, well, one of their concerns is what do you think of the city? I mean, uh, not, not not the downtown city, but what do you think of uh, Denver, Colorado, uh, as a place to live? As a place let, to let live. Let me be very brief on this. Why did you move there, and why do you choose to stay there instead of uh, back in Washington? I don't want to be too negative, but this place, place here is very Sue happy, so it would be great for attorneys. <laughs> <laughs>
It is? <laughs> yeah. Everybody likes to sue everybody. Yep. But it's a, a good climate. Like today, uh, in the last few weeks, I haven't had my uh, air conditioning on at all. Now, how does that make you feel in that humid weather? Wow. Is it humid up there at all? No. Uh, have you, uh, did you live through the winter of last winter there or not? Yes, and it was pretty bad. Were you, how long have you been there, in other words? Two years. Two years? Two years. Well, was the winter so bad that it makes it distasteful to you? Oh, it makes you want to get a four-wheel drive and go skiing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, <clears throat> okay. That, how long do you, th in other words, are you going to choose to stay there for a while? Uh, I'll probably be here another two or three years. And then where, maybe? Uh, California, I hope, or Las Vegas. But not back to Washington? If I could go back to Washington, I'd go there. What part? Why is that? Yeah. Uh, Kennewick. Stan asked what know. part. Stan asked what part. Kennewick happens to be his, the uh, place. Kennewick is where I lived for 10 years, and it, uh, it kind of grows on you a little bit, you know. It's nice that you've got all the uh, plantation things up there. The housing market up there just did a real quick spin around. I uh, lost 30000 on the house I sold two years ago. If I'd have kept it to today, I'd have made 34000 on it. So housing just went up there. A big jump. The Hanford area is going to be a big cleanup market for nuclear waste, so I'm sure there'll be a lot of uh, attorney work there. It's a good, clean market. I like uh, Kennewick, Washington, for the parks and recreation that they have there. The schools are nice. They have release time in seminary uh, for raising teenagers. Uh, so the town itself of Kennewick is about 40,000 people, and it's 10% LDS. And there's three cities there, which you're aware of, Bernie. And Stan was born in Kennewick. That population now is about 150,000. And Kennewick is? Uh, the Tri-Cities. Okay. Well, ask him about Seattle. Denver's what about, uh, tell us about uh, Seattle. Seattle, I can't tell you too much about, other than it's nice, and it rains from September to July. <laughs> I mean, July and August. So you just got two, two like guys. Tighter, as far as rainy season goes. It's a booming area. It's really growing right now because of Boeing. Boeing has probably the biggest contracts ever in their history. So it's uh, it's quite nice. In fact, it would be one of my choices to move to if I had the work that I follow was there. Is it uh, is it pleasant to live there? Oh yeah, really neat. Even in the rain. The rain didn't bother you. Doesn't bother me. I grew up in Vider. <laughs> <laughs> I can drink as much water as a frog. Mm -hmm. Okay, how about this? What about Portland, Oregon? Portland, I don't know too much about other than there's a new temple there. It has a state income tax as opposed to Texas and Washington, which does not. Uh, license plates are cheap, which is one thing, you know, if you're going to have fancy cars, they, they have cheap license plates. It's a neat place to be as far as easy access to Seattle and uh, Northern California. How far is it to Seattle and Portland? About five or six about, hours? About uh, four and a half hours, I would guess. Uh, about a 45 minute uh, airplane ride. Get right. If he had his, yeah. if his oh, job was from Seattle to Portland, good in either Portland. place, would he go with uh, Washington or uh, Denver? If, if, you, if uh, your job was perfectly accommodated by both Portland and uh, uh, Seattle, and Denver. and Denver, and Denver, in other words, you just had your druthers, where would you go? I would probably go to Seattle or Portland. Oh, would you? Over Denver. Over Denver? I would. Mm -hmm. And between those two, is it about a toss-up? Um, Portland probably would be uh, a better choice because you have the best of both worlds because Portland is uh, five miles from the border. You could live in the Washington side and work in the Portland and the Oregon side, or vice versa. Okay. Oh, there, the, the, there's a strong enough economy in both cities? I mean, in uh, Portland? Seattle's probably a little stronger economy. Where? At Seattle? In Portland. <coughs> Seattle probably has the strongest economy. Ask him if his job and was... And Seattle's about uh, 100,000 more people than Denver. Seattle's about 2.1 million, and Denver is about uh, 1.98 million. <laughs> Eddie, what about the personality of the church in general and the people? Uh, I like Seattle, Portland, Denver would be those three orders. What about between Beaumont, Salt Lake, 
and Seattle. Uh, for all things considered. For all things considered. If your job was good if, you. Yeah, if your job uh, permitted. Seattle. Seattle. No, or Seattle's your number one choice. I I would think so if you keep me out of the state of California. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You go with that above the uh, triangle area here. Yes. Yeah. More diversified, Bernie. Yeah. Is it? Uh, is there? Is there a danger of uh, like a strike or? I mean. I understand Boeing is uh, the well, single the industry there. What could happen is that Boeing could shut down again, then it's really down. But, uh, is there a danger of that happening? Diversified now than they were in 1957. Yeah, oh, okay. Happen. Well, what's happening is these boys are getting through school, all of them, and they have uh, uh, kind of made a pact between themselves to try to uh, settle together within 100 miles of each other. Uh -huh. Well, I, I personally would stay in the Northwest. And they've asked us to come and join them, and so we're debating. Denver. <laughs> uh, hey, Daniel, you on? Yeah, I, I just want to ask Eddie. You go, go ahead. If you keep me out of Northern California, then I would go with Seattle. Tell us about Northern California, what cities you, you like there, and why you like them. Well, uh, my first preference would be Ventura area, which is uh, about 60 or 70 miles north of Los Angeles. Uh -huh. The reason is it's really yeah. diversified. Now, housing is, you know, it's out of sight in California, just about anywhere you go. Yeah, I served my mission there. Where'd you serve? I served San Bernardino, uh, Chino, Pomona. That okay, area. come on over a little closer to the ocean. Uh-huh. I like that area myself. In fact, I hope to retire there. Uh -huh. That's how strongly I feel that. So you choose that area above uh, the Northwest? Yes. Uh-huh. But that's my own personal, yeah. my own personal thing. Well, Ventura is really nice. Uh, yeah. L.A. is, is kind of rough. Have, I've worked in Stockton, and uh -huh. it's a, a nice area. I've worked in Ukiah, which is about 100 miles north of uh, San Francisco, and that's a real country type area, but it's nice. Stan, do you have any? I did San Francisco, and it's unbelievable as far as housing. You, you wouldn't want to live there at all, but you know, that's yeah. what the, that industry is. Eddie, I have a question. Sure. This is Stan. Um, it's about the weather. Um, in order, uh, going from north to south, Washington, Oregon, and then California, how does the rain, uh, I know you said it rains from, from what, July, what, what was it? To <laughs> September, September to so. July, that's the rain festival. Uh, how is it in Oregon, and how is it in California, in that part? Oregon is similar. California is dry. Santa Barbara is right where Ventura is, and that's been a drought for the last couple of years in Santa Barbara. You say that but, Oregon... But it's just like, uh, it's just like uh, springtime in Texas year-round in Ventura. Oh, really? Okay? It's not too hot, it's not too cold, and it's not humid. But the difference between Oregon and Washington is not that great? Not that much difference. Yeah. The thing that I would consider there would be uh, where I wanted to live exactly. Uh, the, the temples are close no matter where you go. There's a temple in Portland now. If you lived in Kennewick, you're three and a half hours from a temple. If I was to go back there, I'd probably live on the Yakima side just so I'd be closer to the temple. In Denver, I'm 45 minutes from the temple. I'm a veil worker, and it's fun to go, but I'm on the wrong side of town as far as Denver is. Yeah. Well, gee, it's sure been good to visit with you, Eddie. Daniel, anything else? Well, I'll just thank you for telling us what he knows about it. Tell Mama Jones. Pam wants to tell you something. Okay. Tell Mama Jones. How, how are you doing, Sarah? Well, we're doing okay. We're hanging in there. Okay, good. Yeah, our youngest one is now... I really think any three of these, uh, Denver, uh, Seattle, and Portland would be good places. And Mike, and Mike told me that you was uh, going to call, and so I... Just kind of thinking about it the last couple of days. Yeah. What I do if I was starting from scratch. Eddie. Great. Hi, hi, Pam. How, well, go ahead, Stan. <laughs> um, Eddie, I was going to ask you one thing. Uh, I'm the only one that uh, chose to go the physician route. Okay. I, I, I thought I'd keep my brothers in business somehow. <laughs> <laughs> He's got one year of medical school done. Um, when, when, when are you guys going to be done? Well, Steve's going to be done next year, so he's got to start sending out resumes. i got three years before I, ha I have my M.D. Uh -huh. And uh, Dave, David and Dan are going to be about one, oh, one or two that. years after me. Uh -huh. About one year after me. Marshall will be two years after that. Yeah. So it's kind of a stair step. 
But what is the market? Do you think it would be hard for me to get in and practice as a physician in any of those three places that we talked about? Papa. Papa. Even California. Yeah, that's a snap for you. Well, great. Uh, uh, Pam, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. Yeah, you might ask Pam a question. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I've been around different places, and I have my own reasons for wanting to go other places, so you're welcome to ask what her feelings are about Denver or whatever, because I'm not really pro-Denver. Well, Pam, you know, let me ask you. Of all the places you've ever lived, where is the place you enjoyed the most? Oh, now, wait a minute. I'm talking to a bunch of Vider <laughs> yes, No, okay. It was the exclusion of Vider. Okay. Uh, Exclude Vider because this tribe might be moving from Vider. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there's no reason to go back, right? Right. 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 <laughs> I really like the tri cities for living. I heard you mention something about um, doctoring, though, and, and I know Ed and I have a friend, Dr. Manson, who uh, moved out of the Tri-Cities and moved up to Seattle to, to work. Uh-huh. Work is better there. Okay. So I, I'm not sure that the Tri-Cities is real lucrative for uh, medical practice. We think the Tri-Cities, we've already studied it. We've studied all this out on the maps and the books and everything, and we think the Tri-Cities is a little bit small for all of us. Exactly. Uh-huh, yeah. uh-huh. Because... I would think. Yeah. Your law firm is going to be quite specialized, we think, and you kind of have to be around a lot of people. See, we have to, we each have to get a job in various places, different law firms, for a few years until we can finally uh, band together. Exactly. Yeah. Well, Portland is probably pretty high on your list, then. It is. Truth of the matter is... Simply because of its uh, easy access to a lot of different industries. Uh-huh. Truth of the matter is, they're thinking of uh, the Northwest, either Portland or Seattle, uh, possibly Spokane. They're thinking of Denver, and they're thinking of uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and and they're, they're also thinking a little bit of Salt Lake. But it's about. I'll tell you one thing: if you ever go to the Northwest, you'll never want to leave it. Is that right? Do you know Spokane? Both places, I think I choose Portland or Denver. I think Denver has um, a lot of opportunities for people starting out in, do, in practices like that. Uh huh. What about, and you didn't mention Seattle. Um, well, Seattle, yeah, I like Seattle, but it's so rainy up there. Yeah, more so than Portland. If you, if you didn't mind that, then where, you would like Seattle. Where do you, from what city do you come? Where do I come from? Yeah. I was raised in San Jose. Okay. All right. Did did, uh, did the two of you get in Spokane very much? Uh, about three or four times. Is Back it? In, Bernie, you're going to be limited. A little small. You're going to be limited as to what you can do. You've got the aluminum industry and hospitals, and that's it. Yeah. Gee, thanks a lot for visiting with us. We love you and appreciate you. There, Lake Coeur d'Alene. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've heard about that. We, we love you and thanks so much now. Okay. Hey, Dan, can you stay on? I'll right. stay on. Bye, guys. Yeah, if you, okay, okay, bye. Nice talking to you, Eddie. Hey, Dan, Dan, if you can't stay on, I'll call you back first and get you on the steady line, okay? Okay, right. see you later. Okay, bye. Bye-bye, nice talking to you. Now, let's see. Dan, you still there? Yeah, Dan, you, you're still here. They've hung up, but i got to cut them off, and I don't know if I can do it. I hit this drop button, I hit that drop button. Are you still on, Dan? Great, good. You know that number you called about a week ago and asked me to send you a list of those things? Yeah. I didn't even know what you, I didn't even know you'd send us one. David got the letter, and I didn't even know what he, he'd already filled it up and was waiting for me. I saw it for the first time yesterday. Oh. So you haven't sent it back? No, I, well, I filled it up, but I haven't, I filled it up this morning. I, do, do I, you, I didn't know what you were talking about. Well, Dan, I haven't filled mine out either, so we should just do it right now. Do you know, do you remember exactly how you filled it out? Because I'm holding one blank one in front of me. Yeah, let me go get it right now. I'll tell you what, David filled his out, let me get it. Yeah. Get, get them both. Hold on. I got one for, I've got one for you to fill out tonight, but would you, see, there's the names up there, Stan. Yeah, I'll fill out the same one. Huh? We can, but I didn't want them to see each other as they're filling out. Oh, I see. Dan, Stan, do you? Don't have to fill the same way. Huh? Here, Stan, you fill yours out, and then fill out one for, I don't want you to be influenced by theirs. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, let me see. Says, like this is one for you. <laughs> All right, we got Dan and David Bush right here. Okay, just a second. Wait, I, uh, whoa, do, whoa. Do we want to hear the rest of the, some talks before we fill them out? 
Well, you fill them out, and then if you want to change later, you can. Up to it. Fill out. Read Good. it up to Stan. Read it out. <laughs> okay, Albuquerque, Dan 15, Dan 15. Austin, 11, 14. No, you no, wait, wait, wait. Dave wait. first, Dan. Albuquerque's listed down there. Uh -huh. Albuquerque's right here. Sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, you're going to read David's off first, then Dan? Well, well, if you want me to do it that way, sure. Do it that way. Okay, 15, 11, 14. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Uh, just go slowly. You're reading just David's, okay? Name the city. Uh, Albuquerque. 15. Okay. Austin. 11. Okay, I got your pattern. This is David's. Keep yeah. going. Beaumont, 14. Boise, 12. California, any city. Number one. Okay. Okay, go faster. Nine is Dallas. Denver is eight. Houston is 13. Kentucky is six. Vegas is 10, Phoenix is 7, Portland is 2, San Antonio is 5, Salt Lake is 4, Seattle is 3, no other consideration. Now yours. Albuquerque is 15, Austin is 14, Beaumont is 13, Boise is 12, <laughs> <laughs> California would be 6, Dallas is 5, Denver is 16, Houston 11, Six. Kentucky 10, Vegas 8, Phoenix 9, Portland, number one, San Antonio, seven, Salt Lake City, do I have a three anywhere? Yeah, I do. Salt Lake City, 17, <laughs> Seattle, two. Huh? Seattle, two? Two, and I got Tampa, Florida as number three, and Washington, D.C. is number four. Okay. Wait, where was your number? Uh, three. Portland was number one, Seattle, number two. Tampa's three? Yeah, I'd like to move to, and, and when I say Tampa, I really mean Any anywhere in Florida. Florida. Way northern Florida, <laughs> uh, northern... Uh, <coughs> Washington, D.C. is number what? Four. Four. Okay, All right. And, and Tampa and Washington, D.C. is just... The, I'd like to move on the south, south east coast. Yeah. Okay. Roanoke, Virginia, all those, yeah. All right. Next point, son. I'm going to try to get my brother Ben, my, my deceased brother Ben's wife on the phone. She lives in uh, near Vancouver, Washington. You remember where Vancouver is? No. It's it's immediate. It's seven to ten miles north of Portland. But oh, it's, okay, yeah. But it's in the state of Washington. Now she rambles, so we'll have to be. Uh, it's a little tough. She's not crisp like Eddie Porte. Well, I'll just be quiet and let you do the talking. Well, you you hold on. I'm gonna put you on hold. Okay. All right. Ann, and uh, what's his name, the husband? Two, six, five, seven, three. Hey, hey, no, you don't get to do that. <laughs> you don't get to do that. That's not fair. That's against the rules. You do that, then we'll get started. You don't get to do that. You don't get to. What what's, is Alan Crocker, honey? Yeah. What we will do is. Uh... <coughs> Steve's come up with another method of scoring, and that is what city is going Hello? Uh, for. Um, for well, Ann Pack, uh, Ann Crocker, if she's available. Likes best and how much they like. so we're gonna, in other words, we're gonna find a way to get rid of this. Stick it on the bottom because I don't want to. I want to go there. What? To be oh yeah. Right. That's a great. Right. 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 Quit talking like that. <laughs> Mama, <laughs> don't play games. <laughs> don't use strategy. What? What, ma'am? She's not here. This is her uh, brother-in-law, Bernie Packard, down in Texas. Is your daddy there, please? Um, yeah, I think Great. Okay, is his name Alan, honey? Yeah. Oh, maybe put it on conference call. Hello. Hello, Alan? Yes. This is Bernie Packard. Yeah. Uh, Gee, how are you doing, Alan? Fine, how are you? Uh, fine, I don't think we've ever met. Never have. <laughs> but, uh, of course, I know your wife, and uh, we think the world of you and your family, and frankly, we're so grateful to you also. Well, thank you. But I did visit with Ann a few weeks ago. Uh -huh. Did she tell you of our conversation? Uh, she may have, I don't recall. I well, receiving the family uh, uh, letter 
No, it was after that. And what it comes out to, uh, Alan, I'm at my office with a squawk box on account of I have some family members here listening. Oh, uh-huh. And I also have, Daniel, are you on? Yeah. Now, Daniel is my fourth son, and he's at BYU. Oh, uh-huh. And, Alan, what it comes down to is this. Uh, it's a call about church and about uh, where um, these guys uh, might want to live. They're getting through college and through their professional degrees pretty soon. And they have banded together, the first five boys, and decided that they want to live uh, reasonably close together, within 100 miles of each other. Okay, now I remember Ann talked to me about this, yeah. And they've decided that it uh, may not be down here in uh, the Beaumont, Texas area. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they have discussed uh, various areas and uh, show some preferences. And among these are Denver, uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, uh, real high on their list is the Northwest. Uh, Salt Lake does come into the picture a little bit, Las Vegas a little bit, and one or two over there on the east or southeast coast, like Florida. But, Alan, where, so do you have just a moment, a few minutes, to tell us about your place? You bet. Okay, and these guys are here. Uh, the oldest one has only one more year of law school. Uh, the second one has uh, three more years of medical school. He just finished his first year of medical school. Uh, the third and fourth ones uh, will be in, uh, they won't be out of law school for uh, another about three or four years. And then the fifth one is still on his mission. But, Alan, could you share with us where you're from? I mean, I mean, where you live now, I think it's a little above Vancouver, but tell us about it. And then tell these guys uh, what you think of Portland and uh, Seattle and... Um, Spokane, and if you know anything about uh, uh, Denver or Salt Lake, uh, in other words, tell us about, especially about the Northwest. Okay. Uh, I was born and raised in Nebraska, and I've only been back there, I think, one, <laughs> one since then. <laughs> this country is so beautiful up here that you really have any need for any of those other areas. It's, uh, the climate is, is quite mild during the wintertime here. Where are you? We live just uh, across the river from Portland, Oregon. Huh? Vancouver, Washington is the first city you hit. Oh. You, come in you live in Vancouver? Vancouver? Oh, you're in Vancouver? Mm-hmm. We live right in a little area, area called Hazeldale, just off the I-5 freeway. I thought you were in Battleground. No, we moved into Vancouver. From Battleground or Battle Creek? Battleground. Oh. Battleground is a little community of about 3,200 people. Uh, out towards Mount St. Helens from Vancouver. It's about oh, 15 miles from here. But this whole area is very mild in the wintertime. Uh, like last winter, we did get a little snow, but it's quite unusual to get snow in here. Uh, the growth is quite rapid here. Building is very strong. Uh, recreation, if you like to go places, there's just no end of things that you can do here. They're in this, I mean, just uh, real close, you know. Not very far away. Uh, people here are quite, uh, they're a little bit laid back, maybe. You don't have the California rush that that I hear, you know, people go through when they go down there. Uh, a lot of them come back up here. Vancouver's good, uh, now Stan, the second son, he's in the medicine field, and he, he's naturally interested in, in uh, Portland, Vancouver area, or Seattle area for that purpose. Uh-huh. No uh, problem? No problem there? No. Uh, Seattle is growing very fast, too. It's real hard to keep up with the housing up there because the demand is so great. Uh, my brother moved from uh, Idaho, from Boise, over there to uh, Everett, which is just out of uh, Seattle. And I thought, man, he's going to go through a shock, you know, going from a dry climate like Boise o- over there. And he loves it. Right? Okay. He, he says it's very mild up there. From Boise too. And he really likes it. So this whole area up here, uh, from Portland on up, uh, is, is really nice. Um, I've got a question. How, did he feel shunned? Did he feel locked out when he moved from out of state into into Seattle? Uh, in other words, are those people in there sort of, um, we want to keep keep just the Washingtonians in here and uh, not help too many people move in because it, otherwise everybody would have a mad rush in toward the, the beautiful country of Washington? <laughs> Now, there's, there isn't a whole lot of uh, people moving in, but the, it, it does continually grow. But there's just so much room here to keep on expanding. That, uh, well, I, I know that the cities have some growth problems, but 
There's not an attitude of uh, keep everybody else out, though, is there? No, 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 there isn't. Uh, the governor in uh, Oregon one time says that it's a nice place to, to visit, but don't settle here, you know. Right. You won't find that kind of attitude here at all, no. Tell us the difference between um, Seattle and Portland and why you've chosen uh, near Portland and why you've chosen Vancouver instead of Portland. Okay, uh, Seattle is uh, very uh, crowded. I mean, there's a lot of people up there. It's quite hilly, and so uh, that area is fast growing because of the Boeing plant and other plants up there. A lot of, a lot of people live up there. We're talking about close quarters. Down here, this is more of a new area. And it's uh, continually expanding, but uh, it's uh, just kind of a rural area of, of Portland. Portland is a beautiful city. Uh, you know, I have nothing against Portland. Uh, this whole community here is just about the same. It's just a river divides us, and we're in different states. But there's no attitude about uh, keeping people out or discouraging uh, uh, developing. Um, why do you choose Vancouver over uh, Portland? Uh, one reason, I suppose, is the, the taxes. Uh, uh -huh. The taxes over there are higher. We have a sales tax here that they don't have over there. I figured that probably balanced out. It probably comes off pretty close. <laughs> See, in Texas, we have the sales tax, uh, no state income tax. But do you go across the border and buy your groceries in the other state? And do you do your shopping and business in uh, Portland, my wife asked? No. Once in a while, we'll order, we'll order something, you know, like an appliance or something, and pick it up over there. And really, you're supposed to do that because you have a sure, uh, I think it was called a use tax or something, but you're still supposed to pay the state uh, tax on it, but nobody does it. I hear you. Why, why do you choose uh, down there instead of uh, Seattle? Seattle is uh, more of a, uh, you know, it's a faster pace of life up there. Uh, but I love to go up there and visit, but uh, I like it down here. How does the fast pace in Seattle compare with the California pace? Uh, I really couldn't tell you that, but I bet you California is a lot more hectic because of the, uh, you know, closest of all the people down there. They have to spend more time on the road getting to their work and yeah. uh, it's just uh, more more time spent at your job and traveling than here. Well, Alan, if your job allowed you and you did not have tight family connections pulling one way or the other, mm -hmm. would you choose um, uh, between uh, the Seattle area and the Portland-Vancouver area? Would you have a definite choice? I would still choose here because uh -huh. I'm more of a laid-back person. I'm not a real go-getter. I, li I, I like work, but I like to do it at my own pace. Now, this laid-back part, does that apply somewhat to Portland as well as Vancouver? Yeah. Uh-huh. I've been told I've been told the same thing before. Yeah. I've had people from California come here. Uh, see what happens. Uh, we, we, we're getting a number of California <laughs> up here because they sell their property down there and come up here and get uh, two or three times the house. For right. The same thing that they have there. And I understand Oregonians are offended by that. Well, the Oregonians might be, but we're uh, new, kind of new people here yet. <laughs> yeah. On the side of the river. So uh, I suppose they are feeling it because of the first state coming in. <laughs> well, didn't you and Ann live in Seattle for a while? No. We uh -huh. never did. Nor, have you ever lived in Spokane? I think Ann lived up there for a while when Ann was painting bridges or something. I think, well, I know she did because um, I was there with him. Yeah. But that's the only time she's been there that I know. Okay. Truth of the matter is, Ben and I painted on the, um, no, we never painted the Tacoma Narrows. In Puget Sound, we painted a part of a, a floating bridge. But that's while, uh, that was before your time. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, Daniel, anything else? Well, I, I've heard lots of good things. That <laughs> sounds good to me. <laughs> no further questions. Alan, are we overlooking anything about Denver, uh, Dallas, uh, Salt Lake, Phoenix, Arizona, or Las Vegas, as far as you're concerned? No, I really don't care for Salt Lake area myself. You know, it's a beautiful place to go visit, and because of the, the character... Nice place to be from. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the way I feel about it. You know, and I hate to say that, because that's uh, the main stronghold of the church, but, you know, I really wouldn't want to live there. Not after living here. 
Okay. Uh, now, why did your brother move from Boise to Seattle? Uh, mainly because of business. He's a contractor also. Yeah. And housing business back in Idaho is pretty well dried up. And so he went up to uh, Seattle, and Ford Building is booming up there. Yeah. It's really hard to find any lots or any place to build them. And the demand is still there, so they really struggle to get a lot or a property to build them. I don't suppose you have a feel, uh, as far as the legal profession is concerned, as to Washington or, or Oregon, do you? I really don't. Know. Yeah. I've got a lawyer friend up there I'll talk to. Uh -huh. Well, gee, Alan, it's sure good to talk to you, Steve. Hi, Mommy. Anybody else? That covers it, Alan. We appreciate you a lot. I uh, hope I can help you. Yeah, thanks so much now. You okay. Now, what one is he on? So He's now start. You was in Portland for four years. This is Bob Packard on the phone. How come you chose uh, Dallas over Portland? Uh, Portland is uh, a little bit depressing. It's uh, a lot of uh, rain and a lot of mist, and uh, everything's always wet. It's, but it has its advantages that way. It's always green and strawberries and things. Strawberries, you said? Yeah, yeah a lot of strawberries are grown there. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the food they feed you in heaven. And uh, did you live in Seattle for a while? No, but I worked up there and visited there a lot. And Barbara and Jay Kunzler lived in Seattle. But uh, it's the same as Portland. There's no difference between those two places. Are you guys with me or are you fooling around with something else? Uncle Bob, you say that there's no difference climate-wise between Portland and Seattle? Yeah, that's correct. And, and even your economy kind of goes together. Because it's the Northwest and dependent on the same types of industries. The only thing that Seattle has that affects it quite a bit is Boeing. Yeah. And if the uh, government contracts are good and up, then Seattle is doing good. But if they are down, uh, I stay clear of Seattle because I think the government's going to back off of military stuff. Yeah, that's why I don't For a little while. Such a huge city, depending on that industry. Well, it's because it's so big. Yeah. But it's not totally dependent on that. It's it's like any other area. Well, it's like it's like Houston, Beaumont, depending on the oil and chemical. Yeah. And it hurt us bad. There's still a lot of other industry that keeps it going. But I take it that you prefer Dallas area, the greater Dallas area, above uh, Portland area. Uh huh. Yeah, I uh, I did, and uh, we we liked Portland though, and we liked every place we've gone. Uh, Idaho is a little bit uh, uh, country and a little bit uh, slow, and and when it's going good, everything else is going better. And when it's going bad, it's worse than everybody else. That's Boise. You're talking about Boise. Uh, that's Idaho, uh, including Utah, uh, Wyoming, all through there. Uh, there it's almost as if if everything is going good, it's still bottom of the total pole. <laughs> Uh, are you not sorry you left Boise? No. Yeah. See, the reason this is bearing down on us is Steve, in the next two or three two months, has uh, got to send out resumes. Yeah. He's got to start looking for his employment, and uh, he can get a job in just about any city he wants to go to. Yeah. And uh, the boys want to do like your boys. They want to band together within 100 miles of each other at least. Yeah. Well, or, you know, you might want to look at the... Uh, Dallas, Fort Worth area. It's big and it, the economy is very broad. And that's, uh, you, you can't say that to every area in the country that's got a metropolitan area that it's broad based. Yeah. Dallas, Fort Worth is very broad based. Um, Diversified. Uh, um, so, you know, the Los Angeles area is very broad based. Bob, if you were to start over uh, at your age, uh, or even as a young man, uh, would you you'd again consider Dallas Fort Worth, wouldn't you? Yeah, I really would. Uh, uh, although, don't discount the Los Angeles area. Uh huh. You know, that's a big area, and it's really uh, well. I'll tell you, it's booming. So is the Sacramento, San Francisco area. That those those areas are really broad based, and they're uh, really nice places to live, and the church is strong. You can't hardly find anything negative there, except maybe the cost of living and. Uh, and even that has its advantages because... It's offset by the income. The in, yeah, your income is higher. 
and the cost of living is higher, but also if you ever get involved in real estate or other investments, they move quicker in those areas. Mm -hmm. you, make your, you make a higher margin of profit and in a faster rate. Would you consider those areas above the Northwest? Um, yeah, I would, but uh, they, uh, I don't know, the Northwest is not that bad either. Hold well, I've yeah. got a question about the fast pace of... Um, Daniel, are you on? Yeah, I can answer Sam's questions about the fast pace of LA better than anybody, because I just lived there for two years. Okay, let's compare the fast pace uh, of LA, Vermont? Seattle, and Dallas. What, Bob? Uh, she says that the uh, Talmadge says that she would pick California above the Northwest, but California is a busier place. The freeways, more congestion more people than the Northwest. Well, there's places in California that aren't quite so busy, though. Yeah. Um, and you lived down there, Bob. You went to Loma Linda for three or four years, three years. Yeah, I went there two years, and Chad is very happy with Sacramento, and it's really booming. Oh, he likes it? Yeah, very, very much. You know where that is. That's up about as far north as you uh, can find a big city. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's inland, too doesn't have the smog, the fog. See, San Francisco and the Bay Area, and where Jay lives and all that, they have a lot of fog. Uh-huh. Heavy fog. It just stops you in uh, a lot. Well. It gets a little bit depressing. Daniel, anything else, Dan? No, I just, yeah, I, I really like Dallas, too. I would, uh, you know, I would shy away from areas that are so economy-wise, because uh, uh, finances has an awful lot to do with marital and family happiness and church service. You'd shy away from what kind of areas? The slow uh, economy areas. Oh, okay. To get hit easy. And like Beaumont? <laughs> <laughs> and like Boise. Yeah. Uh, like a lot of other small areas, if you're going to be in a firm, you need to be in a pretty big area. You might want to live outside. Sure. Like if you if you set up shop in Arlington or Dallas or someplace there, you might want to live up at Euless uh, or Hearst or something like that. Bedford. They're kind of big communities and they get down. Yeah. Well, we're recording. Well, Bob, gee, it's been good to talk to you. Anything else you guys are about to let it go? Uh, just say hi to Meredith. This is Stan. Okay. Meredith is up there. Yeah, no. I bet he's out your house right now playing games with y'all. No, he's, uh, he's uh, over his place. We, uh, we go to church late, so we haven't been home this long. And uh, I guess you're happy that your guy, that your boys and uh, daughters are gathering around you. Yeah, they. Uh, I'm hoping to make it work. Kevin's first day in the office is tomorrow. Oh. And uh, we've, this past week we've had it off, and so we have a lot of patience. We have... Uh, have 90-some patients tomorrow. That's my office. Kevin has, I think. 90-something patients in one day? Yeah, one day. And Kevin has 70-some? No, 11. Oh, 11. Okay. They, uh, it'll take him a little slower start. Uh, but he's going to learn orthodontics from me, and we might just uh, just have the office that instead of general dentistry. We're going to have the office That's fantastic, Bob. You've got them all there except one. I think if I was going to set up now that I've lived as many places as I have, I would probably rank this area as first and then Southern California as second, um, and then maybe Central California as third, and then uh, Portland, Seattle as fourth. Uh-huh. That's probably the way I would rank them. You know, the books, the almanac that scores them gives uh, Southern and Central California and Northern California about four or five out of the top ten slots. They rank Seattle first, and then they rank about four cities in California. That's out of all the metropolitans in the United States. That right. Now, is that far as the future uh, growth potential and stuff? They, they, considered about, uh, they considered all kinds of factors, everything, except Mormonism, except Mormonism and temples. Okay, so what did they put Seattle there high for? 
Oh, uh, they were uh, people like the climate. They like the industry. Good job Culture. opportunities. Opportunities. Cultural advantage. Cultural advantage. Recreation. Education. Recreation. But, like I say, Anaheim, California came number two, and some other place in California came three and four and five. Portland came number 24. Dallas the came... Metal, one of the many that the metal had, you are close to uh, mountains and skiing, yeah. fishing, the, which uh, we don't have here in Dallas. Yeah. Uh, and the Dallas Metal Hat is one of the Well, Bob, thanks so much for visiting okay. with us. Take it easy. Bye. Okay, Bye. Dan, I'll drop that off. Drop button. Drop that one off. You with us, aren't you? Okay. Um, well, hello. Is this the Bean residence, please? Uh, is Daddy nearby? Yeah, in a second. Okay. Good. Now this is Steve. Make sure this recording. This is a, this is a, a rather important phone call. Daniel. Yep. Hello. Hello, Jim Bean. Yeah. This is Bernie Packard, Jim. Well, I'm on there. Hi, How are Jim. You? Good. How are you? Fine. Great, well, Jim. What are you up to? Well, I'll tell you. I dropped. Uh, I by, we came by the office to get on this squawk box because I have some family members here. Okay. And I have one of my sons uh, presently in uh, Provo, Utah. He's on another line. All right. And so he can hear. And I've got my wife, uh, two sons, and one of the sons' wife. And they're uh, these boys, Jim. Um, are uh, on their way through graduate school. Uh, one is in medical school now, and another one is in uh, has only one more year of law school, and then two others will be entering law school soon. And they have uh, entered into a pact to um, settle somewhere reasonably close to each other, within uh, 50 or 100 miles of each other, and uh, most probably not down here where we are. Uh, they're thinking of uh, two or three places, and one of them is up there where, uh, near where you are. And so they're, they're nearby, and they, Jim, they wanted to ask some questions about Portland and about Seattle, about Northern California. Now, you never did live near or in uh, Seattle and uh, Portland. How do you like it in Portland? Well, it was our choice to come here from we could go anywhere, but we chose to, to come here. We like the climate, the people, and the, and the church opportunities. And it's not as expensive as it is in some areas. We, we like it here, although I think uh, my own philosophy is you're going to do well wherever you are if you, if you want to. Uh-huh, and if you do what's right. Sure. Um, you you spend a little bit of time in Seattle. Do you go up there sometimes? I'm up there at least once a month. Uh, of course, I used to be a temple until a year ago. Mm -hmm. And I uh, have a lot of clients up there. Our law firm has an office up there. Well, how do you compare the two? We've talked to some people that like uh, Seattle better than Portland, and uh, and then some that uh, like Portland better. I think they're both uh, they're both great places. The church is strong in both more people in Washington than there are in Oregon, uh, but the the, uh, the weather is about the same. Church is strong in both places. Uh, opportunities are good in either place for, for professional facilities. Uh, Seattle is a lot more industry up there with Boeing, uh -huh. and uh, the state of Washington has got a lot more people in Oregon. Jim, I meant to ask you at the outset if I'm if I picked a real bad time. Uh, are you tied up with? Coming in a few minutes for fire service. He's not here yet. Okay, you speak up when he arrives, and we'll try not to take much time because I know you're busy. Dan, I forgot to tell you, Jim and I go go back quite a ways. His brother was my roommate. Jim was a stake president, a regional representative for a long time. He's been active in church work. But Jim, as it, uh, in other words, uh, the. Do you feel a preference uh, if, if it were not for family pulling you, if you were not tied down with a job, would you feel a preference one above the other? Well, I had to decide between Seattle and, or, and Portland when I came to, to live here, and I chose yeah. to come to Port sure, Portland. Portland. It's, uh, I wanted to be a United States Senator, and I thought that would be more likely from, uh, from Oregon than from Washington. Was that 
that the but main... But I, I, I wouldn't mind living in either place. We're doing fine here, and we build up quite a bit here, so this is probably where we'd stay. I think I'd call them missions. Two questions. Uh, was that the primary reason for choosing Portland over Seattle? Was your uh, political ambitions, or was there other reasons? No, I think that was probably the primary reason. Second thing is, can you, uh, as an attorney, do you, uh, do you make as uh, good a living in Portland as you think you could in Seattle? Well, I don't think it. I don't think there's that much difference. We make. Uh, uh, there are only there are only about four or five large law firms in Oregon. By large, I mean over 125. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Seattle would have a lot more than that. Um, for a lo for a starting out attorney, uh, it's about the same, also. I think team. so. I uh, most of the large law firms here will start about 45 to 48. Competition's pretty high. Yeah. Hey, Jim, is it about as easy to practice law in one state as the other, as far as rules, regulations, and? Uh, it doesn't, doesn't make a lot of difference. Half our firms. Licensed in Washington. And yeah, to practice in Vancouver, I guess you have to be licensed there, don't you? I mean, in both right. places. Right. Uh -huh. Most large law firms, uh, well, not even moderate-sized law firms, uh, in either Vancouver or Portland, will have somebody who's licensed to practice in the other state. Yeah. And in our firm, we've got probably 20 people licensed for Washington. Are you licensed in both states, by any No, I, I'm licensed in the District of Columbia in Portland, Oregon. Um, do you think it would be hard now? Here, I'm the one in med school and asking the questions about the bar exam, mm -hmm. but uh, would it be hard for, say, my dad to not only be licensed in any other state, but in two other states? <laughs> In other words, besides Texas, well, you have to take the bar exam. Would it, would you have to take the bar exam, but uh, <laughs> but we've got I, probably ten of the twenty lawyers that are licensed in Washington out of our firm uh, were licensed to practice in uh, in uh, Oregon, and then went and took the exam to to practice in Washington. Yeah. After they practiced for several years here, oh, none of them had any trouble with it. Are you still uh, guy got your eye open for that uh, for senator? Probably not. Uh, we had eleven kids and got into a whole lot of businesses and, uh, and you up, huh? we have other things now that we're interested in. Yeah. Um, well, um, you your friend has come in, has he? Uh, J Daniel, go ahead. Okay, Jim. You yes. Okay, this is Dan up in Provo. Um, yes. I graduated a year from now from doing political science, taking on law, or going to go to law school. Would, do you think it's much more difficult to get a job in a firm if you went to law school out of state? Do you recommend going to school somewhere out there? Or do you want no, to it doesn't. I don't, I don't think it makes any difference. Uh, the, uh, the 104 lawyers that work in our firm Maybe uh, maybe 30 of them went to Oregon schools. Well, what did make the difference? Just ranking your class? And the, the grades, the impression they make on the uh, interviewer, and, uh, and at least 50% luck. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Where are the uh, big law schools in Oregon? Is it in Eugene or Salem? Uh, there's both. They have one in uh, Eugene and one in Salem. And one in uh, Portland. And then they have one in Portland, too, Lewis and Clark in Portland. Yeah. Well, I'm in Salem and the uh, University of Oregon down at Eugene. Well, I've got one question. You, um, you'd rather, I guess, live in Portland than in Vancouver, huh? Oh, yeah, or else I'd live in Vancouver. <laughs> That's right. Sure. <laughs> what, Daniel, Stan? Well, earlier on in the conversation, you said that one reason why you chose the Northwest is because you liked the climate. What is it about the climate that you liked? We've heard... It's a moderate climate. It, uh, it rains often enough to keep things green. But not too often? Uh, not for me. Uh, <laughs> th there are people who make jokes about the, the weather here all the time. Yeah. You can see Mount Hood, it's going to rain. If you cannot see Mount Hood, it's raining. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> uh, <coughs> the nice summer we had, I came on a Wednesday and I had to work. Yeah. It does. That's not right. The temperature today is probably about uh, 85 or 88. No clouds. 
Beautiful. Yeah, we hear good things about it all the time. And Steve, our oldest one, he has to send out his resumes pretty soon, so he's got the others thinking seriously about where to go. Well, Jim, thanks well, so much. There's a lot of opportunity here. This is an area that grows uh, and should experience more growth in the next couple of decades. Yeah. Uh, same thing's true with Seattle. Is it hard to get a job as an attorney? Uh, we're less uh, impacted by it's things like the oil industry. Uh, oh, timber is a big thing here. We've had some problems with the, oil, with the owl. owl. But, uh, but I think most people don't expect that to be as uh, any any real uh, re recession type impact or anything like that. Uh huh. Okay. Well, all right. Jim, thanks a lot. Daniel, anything else? Uh, just thank you very much. Well, you bet. Good to talk to all of you. It's good to talk yeah. to you. Uh, your kid's doing well. How old is your youngest one now? Youngest is uh, all, well, he's 13. He's a Down syndrome boy. Uh huh. So we got one, him and a 15 year old left at home. Jody is our uh, ninth child, and she goes to BYU this fall. Uh, for her first year? Yeah. Allison is the next one up the line, goes to Germany on a mission in August. Well, tell her to look up Daniel Packard. He's uh, he's the one on the line. He's top of the line guy. Well, tell him to say hello. Okay, what is her name? Allison. All right, Allison Bean. Daniel, remember that. Write it she's down. Going to, uh, she's going to Germany, Hamburg, Germany mission. I know the family well, Dan. They're first, uh, first rate people. <laughs> Well, our youngest one's only six years old. We still have eight at home. We got a long ways to go. Well, that's what you get for being so young. There you go. <laughs> Jim, thanks a lot now. Too bad. Good to talk okay. to all of you. Okay. Okay. If you come up here, stop and say hello. Sure will. will. Okay. Bye. 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 I'm going to drop this one off, Daniel. Hit this one. Hit that. You on, Dan? Come on. Well, now he um, he's a man of class. That guy is top of the line. He was a state president for a long time, a regional mm -hmm. representative for a long time, big, good family. Oh, school, and school uh, does he uh, have a standing in his firm? Is he one of the top entrepreneurs? I don't know. I'm I sure did. he is. He's been there 23 years. Yeah, he'd be way up there. And he'd be. Well, Steve can apply to him? Yeah, he's one that you'd apply to. 50% luck, I don't know what all that means. Uh, if you're in the student. middle of your class with the other credentials you've got, the paperwork, you're. Your, uh, your briefs and everything. Dan? Was Dan there? Yeah. Dan, you there? You're still on. Yeah, I heard good things about you, Steve, and you're arguing in court. Well, he, oh. Dan, he's taking these people on uh, single-handedly. He's not. He's shooting the lawyers out of the sky. That's what I hear. I hear that he's just blowing everybody he's, away. He's embarrassed a couple of them. He's the talk of the town. These old ladies, uh, the, the note-takers, the secretaries, yeah. they say, who is that young man? <laughs> and then they, uh, they say, under their under their breath, they say, that's Bernie Packard's boy. Then they said, sure did catch, catch Bernstein with his pants down. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, you have to help Steve get on law review, okay? I'll help him. <laughs> um, well, that man is one of them that you'll, try, you'll apply with, and he has connections. What you need to do, Dan and Steve, is uh, make a trip up there and, and sit down with him. Yeah, talk he's going to marry his daughter and see if he can get a job there. <laughs> uh, hey, about his daughter, uh, what's her first name? Jody? No. Allison. What's her name? Allison. Allison. Uh, just like Floyd Packard's wife's name is Alice. I'm just, I don't know what she looks like, but I'm saying this. The Bean family has about four or five sons. Jim is, uh, I think, the oldest. I roomed with his other son, uh, Bob Bean. Tom. Tom Bean. Bob was another one. Yeah. And and they're top of the line guys. Yeah. These boys are getting through school and they're wanting to live somewhere. Uh, and uh, they want to live uh, close to each other, within 100 miles of each other. Uh -huh. And they're thinking of... Uh, Where's the best place in the world to settle? The best place in the world to settle is here. <laughs> it is? We're moving to Denver. You may not want to talk to me. <laughs> but... Uh, if you ha if you didn't need to move to Denver, and I don't know if you need to or not, but if you had your choice, what would you do? I'd stay here. Really? Yeah. Now, Byron, you were raised in Boise Valley. You've lived in Utah like Salt Lake. You're going to Denver. 
Would you uh, choose up there even above Boise? Oh, yeah. And above Salt Lake? Yeah. And above Denver? Above Denver, yes. But to me, you know, we got family in Denver, and my job's going over there, so that's why we're going. And we're going to like it there, but Seattle is really nice. Well, tell us, why do you like it? Why do I like it? Yeah. Uh, well, it's green. I love green. And we got a lot of green now, down here. Like a lot, lots, lots of sun. Uh, they may not like this because we've had a lot of sun for two weeks. But uh, prior to that, we had quite a bit of rain. Well, yeah. we, we know all that rain. We know the rain. I think uh, we're in a, probably the heaviest rainfall in the United States. You are? Yeah, but it all comes down at once. Yeah, like. you're in the heaviest rainfall, but like you're right, it all comes down at once. Here we get it uh, drizzled, and it rains, you know, from about uh, November to uh, end of April, May. It's pretty solid, and then and then uh, it rains through the summer here and there. Like summers are good though. Hey, Byron. Yeah. We keep hearing about the rain. How bad? Uh, not how much rain or how often, but how bad is it on your uh, on your nerves or on you on your system? We like it. I'm serious. I'm not saying that facetiously. We like it here. I mean, the, the rain, rain. The rain has not bothered us one bit. It really doesn't, huh? Oh, it rusted his brain. Just Kevin says it rusted my brain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, <laughs> Byron, have you or Kevin lived in or near Portland? Have me or Kevin lived in or near Portland? Yeah. No. Do you know enough about it to comment on Portland? Portland. See, uh, it's three hours, three hours from us. They get a little more rain, I think, than we do. Not much. It's pretty close the same. Uh, their winters are sometimes a little more severe than ours, uh, which is nothing, really. But they, they do. They, they usually get some more snow than we do. Uh, let's see, what else? Mike Jones, my uncle, he has lived there for some time, and he's still there. And how does he seem to like it? Uh, he likes it. I guess that you'd have to talk to him to get definite word, but he's going to school there, so uh, and he's about to graduate, so I don't know if he's where he's going. Yeah. If you were going to be a lawyer, which town would you choose? If I was going to be a lawyer, yeah. Seattle and Portland both are probably pretty inundated with lawyers, but Seattle. Just a minute. What? Kevin says, and Kevin would be the one to know this. Kevin says Seattle's a lot better for lawyers. Uh huh. Is he in? Is he go, uh, in law school? Kevin is no a CPA, but works around lawyers. Oh yeah, he w he would work around him. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. What about Tells him what to do. Byron, this is Stan. I'm the second uh, <laughs> second one of Byron's boys. Kevin says attorney doesn't know how to do taxes. <laughs> you got that right. Now, Stan, our second son, Stan. Yeah. Uh, he's in medical school, and he wants to ask you a question about. Uh, 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 about me about medicine, speak up for a lot. Hi, Byron. How you doing? Pretty good. Yeah. Uh, what's the um, outlook uh, for a physician's uh, no. job? What do you think? For a physician's job? Yeah. In Seattle, it's probably pretty good. Uh, Seattle. People get sick up there too, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seattle has the, one of the best uh, medical schools in the nation. They're known for it. Really. Uh, He's already stuck in a medical school, so he's talking about after that. Yeah, I, I understand that, but I'm just saying there's a lot of medical stuff around here. We have Fred Hutch uh, uh, Cancer Research is here. That's a big company for yeah. yeah. cancer. We have uh, Harborview, which is one of the best uh, heart centers. We have uh, University of Washington, which their main cr uh, uh, curriculum is medical. Yeah, you don't uh, think then it would be hard for me to find a residency up there, huh? Pardon me? You don't think it would be difficult for me to find a residency? I don't think so. There's a lot of doctors here, though, but, you know, it's not my field, so... Yeah. But I would think it'd be good. <laughs> well, gee, it's sure good to talk to you, Byron. Yeah, do you want to talk to Ken? Let us just say hello to him, yeah. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for calling, you guys. Yeah, it's hey, good nice to talk talking to you. to you. All right, here's Ken. Hey. hey, Kevin. Yeah. We miss you down here in this missionary work. Huh? We miss you down here in this missionary work. Yeah, how's it going? Well, it's been the same since you left. Yeah. <laughs> well, I figured as much, but... Uh, it, went, it went downhill after you left. <laughs> you think so, huh? Yeah. Where do you live, Kevin? Uh, we live uh, actually about a mile from my brother here. 
Well, now, I didn't know that you lived up in Kent. Yeah. Are you staying there even though your brother uh, goes to Denver? Yes, we are. Ke uh, Kevin, are you there by choice, or did your job take you there? I came here because of the job to begin with, and I moved back to Boise about a year and a half ago. Yeah. And we moved back here by choice. Oh, really? Yeah. What, what happened, uh, in other words, what was it wrong with Boise? Because we, we were considering Boise, it was about number 10 on our list, but we was thinking of Boise. It's too slow. Yeah. I can't, I can't handle it. I, That's what Uncle Bob said. In my career, uh, the, the work here is really exciting and I really like it. So. Well, Bob Packard, you know, of course, he moved from Boise for the same reason. Same reason. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's just uh, and don't get me wrong, it's just a bunch of farmers there that uh, don't, don't offer too much of an exciting opportunities. Well, Kevin, you went there by choice. I guess you could have gone to Portland by the same choice, huh? Yeah. I, uh, I work with uh, one of the, the big accounting firms, and so I could really go anywhere I want right now. Well, did you uh, study Portland out, or did you go up there because Byron was there? Uh, no. I, I like Seattle. Uh, Seattle's where you are. I just like the office here. I like, uh, I like the community. So, you know, it's a big, it's a big city. What about the church there? What? What about the church? Is it uh, the personality of the members? Are they warm? Are they uh, new converts? Or what? What's the story? Uh, well, the steak we're in, I think, is a really good steak. I really enjoyed it. Um, it just, you know, I guess every ward is different. It's, it's Are your youth up there behaving themselves? Are they behaving themselves? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have a temple here. Uh, which is nice, too. That's important. Well, Byron, uh, Kevin, you chose, you're there by choice. Did you study Portland over, or uh, did... Uh, oh, I, I really can't say that I did. I've been made a couple of job offers in Portland. Um, I've moved here to Seattle, and I was made one uh, when I was there in Boise also. So we're just about in a toss-up between Seattle and Portland, and we're trying to decide, considering all factors. Did you hear him? Uh, no. He said uh, that of all the cities, and we've considered 15 of them or 16 of them, seriously, Dallas, Denver, uh, Las Vegas, but it seems as though Portland and Seattle are just about neck and neck as our number one choices. Well, I'd say that, uh, now I just, uh, I've been through Portland and travel and whatnot, um, and out of the two cities, I think Seattle's a, a hotter city in terms of business and uh, just uh, things that are happening, the community and also the uh, the economy. Uh, Seattle's a, just a lot healthier economy right now. Do you think uh, Seattle's too much like Los Angeles or getting to be like it? Uh, no. Seattle will never get that big or anything like it. The reason being is that it, it's pretty wet here and it... It takes a certain type of individual to, you know, a family to stay, because uh, you don't see a lot of the sunshine during, you know, for half the year, you really don't. It does rain a lot. Well, Portland's going to be the same way. Portland will be the same way. And we've talked to people in Portland, and um, when we talked to one, in, we haven't talked to any in Portland or Seattle who would uh, choose the other city. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> in, well, each, in every case, uh, the one they live in, and, and we've talked to some in Portland and Seattle, uh -huh. uh, they always uh, think the one they're in is the best. Be Portland, because it's laid back, it's a slower pace, uh, business is still good, it's a beautiful city. Yeah. And Seattle is first because it's a, it's a busy sit place, good opportunity. Yeah. Well, well, I... Seattle, uh, I think, is prettier out of the two places. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. But uh, you've got, uh, you know, ski resorts uh, within 45 minutes. Uh, in both know, cities? Of out of both cities? Out of both cities, I guess it probably would be. Yeah. yeah. Out of Seattle here, there's ski resorts within 45 minutes. And, yeah. and just actually, you go right over uh, Snoqualmie Pass here, which is the Cascades, which is just an hour away, and you're into sunshine. Nothing but sunshine. In fact, uh, I can be in, in the desert uh, two hours from here. You can be in the desert in two hours from yeah. there? I can. It starts a desert right about Yakima, which is about two, just over two hours, and it stays desert clear down to, clear down to Salt Lake. This is interesting. <laughs>
Go down to go down to you guys' side. <laughs> wow. Well, see, this is important for us to know because now let's suppose that some of us are just allergic to the rain, okay? Uh -huh. We just can't stand it, even though we've been raised in it quite a bit all our lives. Um, what? How far would you have to move away to be pretty much out of the rain? How many? Uh, you'd have to be about two hours out of Seattle. Two hours east, right? Two hours east. Yeah. That, the, the Cascade Mountains are right up against the Seattle here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they kind of surround the whole Puget Sound. And they just stop every everything, and it just dumps the rain, and then the clouds go on. So you'd have to go to the other side of the Cascade Mountains? Yeah, you'd have to go over the Cascades. <clears throat> what town would be the nearest one? Well, you're looking at small towns then. Uh, you're looking at, like, Yakima, uh, Wenatchee. Yeah. Uh, and most of these towns are fruit farms. Fruit farms. Big, uh, like Yakima and the Tri Cities, Richmond, uh, in those areas are, are large fruit, uh, fruit growing areas. Hey, Kevin. Yeah. You've lived in lots of different cities, including Houston, Boy yeah. uh, Boise. Uh, have you lived in Salt Lake? Yes. And uh, now up there in Seattle. Yep. Uh, was it a very close choice between uh, Northwest and Houston? I would never live in Houston. <laughs> you hear that no thing? choice at all. That one was easy to decide. And of course, I, I've been back to Houston since uh, a couple times. But you wouldn't live there. Well, they rank bottom on our list, so don't feel bad. Yeah, well, I, I just would. See, I, I feel mean, bad. It's a, a booming city, really, kind of. You know, it's kind of a new city. And I think there's probably a lot of opportunity in Houston. But uh, It's bigger than Seattle, isn't it? Yes, it is. Dallas um, is. But too. they're comparable. They're, they're really comparable cities. Have you lived in Dallas? No, I haven't. I've not been to Dallas. Yeah. Um, but out of, I guess out of all the cities right now, Seattle would be the one. Yeah. I've got a question that's unrelated to this. Did, you, did your brother's last name help him land his job with Packard Hewlett Computer? No. <laughs> it didn't help. That's interesting. No. Anything else? We've about ready to cut him loose. Well, gee, Kevin, thank you for visiting with us. Okay, there's a lot of schools up here. That's good, too. A lot of good universities. And good law schools. Oh, are there any pretty girls up there? David's thinking of going to law school up there, and he's not attached to anyone. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I've stopped looking for about 10 years now. <laughs> <laughs> well, ask your wife, then. What? Ask your wife, then. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hey, uh, the law schools up here, there's, there's Puget, University of Puget Sound, the University of Washington, those are probably the, the two better ones. Puget Sound, Puget, Puget, Okay. It's, it's expensive. So. Well, well, we'll get on the phone and uh, uh, get some law schools. They might go to BYU, I don't know. Yeah, that would probably be... Until they get married. Kevin, thanks for talking with us. We sure love you. All right, Bernie. Take it easy now. See you Kevin. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Yeah. Bye. I don't need to talk to Bill, I've decided, because I got everything from his two boys and Bill.